What is up Raider Nation? It's your boy Simone Raider back with another video and today I'm going to be previewing the Raiders versus the Texans game at the NRG Stadium in Houston. The Raiders are sitting at 3-3 three and three, and the Texans are sitting at 4-3 and three, and this is going to be a good one. The Raiders want to go home with the win and I just hope that the Raiders can bounce back in this game and hopefully, you know, Houston has a problem this week and we take the W. All in all, just like any other week, no matter what happens the week prior, I'm still optimistic and happy just to watch the Raiders and I can't wait to see them play against the Texans. And so without further ado, let's get started with this week eight pregame preview. You tell them one thing. Just win, baby. disappointing loss against the Green Bay Packers. The Raiders look to bounce back in their final road game before heading back to the town. Oakland didn't waste any time sending former first round pick Gary Conley away to the Texans for a third round pick after playing his worst game as a pro by far. For Conley, he gets to face the Raiders in his first game as a Texan. Can someone say revenge game? Anywho, we should see the debut of wide receiver Zay Jones and the possible return of Tyrell Williams. If so, this would be a huge upgrade from the past two weeks for Carr. Jacobs and Waller also look to be a go for for their Sunday matchup against the Texans. A win would be huge for the Raiders, but it won't come easy. This will be another tough matchup for the Raiders facing another high-powered offense in Houston behind the likes of quarterback Deshaun Watson and all-pro receiver DeAndre Hopkins. On the defensive side, the Texans have one of the most versatile defenders in the league in JJ Watt. But if the Raiders can repeat what they did last week, keeping Carr clean in the pocket, then we'll definitely have a chance to win this game. matchup I have Daryl Worley versus DeAndre Hopkins. With Gary on Cully now playing for Houston, Worley becomes the Raiders number one cornerback on the roster. His first matchup won't be an easy one as he goes one on one with the great one. <laughs> Okay, I'm just joking. I just wanted to say that. I don't know why. But all jokes aside, Hopkins is by far one of the best receivers in the league. After catching nine passes for 106 yards and a touchdown last week, Hopkins doesn't look to slow down anytime soon. And that could be a big problem for this Raiders secondary, especially after letting Aaron Rodgers and company go for 400 plus yards and six touchdowns. This will be a big test for Worley and the secondary to shut down all the noise and show why they're capable to play against the best of the best. As you guys all know, I always had three storylines to the game. Number one, containing Deshaun Watson. Watson has proven to be a threat throwing and running the football. Watson is also known for breaking out some very explosive plays downfield to his talented speedy wide receiver core. In the red zone, Watson has proven to be a threat to run for first downs or an even score touchdowns. If the Raiders want to win this game, their best bet would start on the defensive line. Getting a sack early and applying pressure can set the tone for the game. If they can get Watson to force some throws and play here hero ball throughout the game, then the Raiders can capitalize on their mistakes. Number two, air it out. After giving up a decent chunk of rushing yards in the first two weeks, the Texans defense has clamped down in the run game. Through the last three weeks, the Texans haven't allowed more than 62 yards in a game. The Texans front seven is a solid group, but their secondary isn't quite as scary. This means Derek Carr will have to distribute the ball through the air to his receivers and tight ends. He has been able to create a great rapport with his tight ends in the past weeks, but this week, the Raiders could see the debut of wide receiver Zay Jones and the return of Tyrell Williams. This would be huge for the Raiders passing game. This does not mean that they should shy away from feeding Josh Jacobs. As we all know, he is definitely proven to be a solid back against any defense. And last but not least, number three, protect the car. The Raiders' pass protection has been superb this season, only allowing eight sacks. They held two of the top defenses in the Bears with Khalil Mack and the Packers with the Smith brothers to zero sacks in the last two games. If the Raiders want to go home with the victory, they need to keep Derek Carr clean in the pocket. Trent Brown should be back this week after missing last week's game. If so, this will be the first time this season the Raiders have been at full strength on the offensive line. Now with the last segment of this show, here are my three players to watch. Number one, Daryl Worley. Like I said earlier, this is gonna be a huge test for Daryl Worley to go one-on-one -on -one with the great one, DeAndre Hopkins. It's gonna be a tough matchup for him. And last week after we really just let all the Packers receivers, and they didn't even have their number one wide receiver out there. We just let them run all over the field, catching balls, catching touchdowns easily. But this is gonna be a really huge test and it's not gonna be easy. DeAndre Hopkins is gonna be a tough task for Worley, but I believe if Worley wants to solidify that number one cornerback's 
spot on this team, he's gonna have to do a great job against the Texans wide receivers. Number two, Zay Jones. Now I can finally say that I'm excited to see Zay Jones. I thought he was gonna play last week, but obviously he was ruled out before the game started. And I know he needed more time to learn the playbook, but this week we should definitely see Zay Jones against the Texans. And I wanna see what kind of rapport he has with Derek Carr in his first game. He's a really huge weapon. And the fact that we did trade away a fifth round pick to acquire Zay Jones, he's gonna be implemented in this offense alongside of hopefully Tyrell Williams and other guys like Hunter Renfro and other receivers that we do have on this team. So Zay Jones, I hope that he goes out there, has a solid game, hopefully like about like a couple catches for say 80 yards and maybe a touchdown. That would be a solid day for him. But all in all, like I said, I'm just excited to see Zay Jones out there and I hope to see him ball out. And last but not least, number three, the main guy that's been criticized throughout the Raider Nation, Derek Carr. Now Derek Carr had a solid game last week, 293 yards for two touchdowns and one interception, but it was overshadowed to how bad our defense was playing. Yes, Derek Carr had a huge mistake last week, fumbling the ball in the end zone and got mostly everybody in the Raider Nation pissed off, including myself. But overall, if you really looked at his game, he had a solid day and I don't count that last interception because it was at the end of the game, the game was basically over and he was trying to make a play. But before that, he was carving up the defense. Our defense didn't help out as much, but what can I say? Derek Carr has got to come out in this game and just keep playing well. If we could get the lead early and just keep scoring touchdowns and scoring touchdowns and scoring touchdowns, then this will be a great day. Derek Carr, I still have trust in him and he's still my quarterback and I'm not going to bash him until he's off this team. If not, I'm still going to be a big supporter of Derek Carr and I believe that he'll have a great day against this Texas team. All right, Raider Nation, that's all I have for you guys today in this pregame preview. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you guys have any other thoughts to this game, drop it down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys already know the dilly yo please smash that like button i would gladly appreciate it if we could get this video to like about 300 likes then i would greatly appreciate it raider nation with that being said if this is the first time you're watching this video and you guys enjoyed this type of video then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when i upload more videos and it also shows me that you guys really enjoy my content because i spend a lot of time working on these videos and i appreciate when you guys comment and when you guys like the video or even subscribe with that being said raider nation until the next video this is your boy some more raider and your boy is yeah.